under grey skies at the Royal Australian Air Force Base at Fairbairn, Canberra, a crowd of dignitaries waited expectantly as the convoy transport carrying Australia's Governor-General-elect, Viscount Delisle, drew up on the tarmac. Viscount Delisle joined the RAAF plane in Melbourne, and as he stepped out, he was greeted by the Prime Minister, Mr Menzies. Airmen from the base snapped to attention and a royal salute. A series of handshakes for the Viscount, while Lady Delisle chatted with Dame Patty Menzies before the Viceregal family left for Yarralumla. Just over 24 hours later, a scene of activity outside Parliament House as the time for the swearing-in draws near. Viscount Delisle's family were early arrivals. And then, escorted by police motorcycles, the Rolls-Royce drew up and the Governor-General stepped out. As he adjusted his plumed hat, some of the crowd remembered his predecessor, Viscount Dun Russell, who in similar uniform began his tragically short office as Governor-General less than two years ago. In the Senate chamber, parliamentarians, government officials and community leaders waited as Viscount Delisle, a stately figure, moved to his seat. Ladies and gentlemen, pray be seated. My Lord, would you be pleased to take the oath of allegiance? Could you take the Bible in your right hand and read the oath of allegiance? I, William Philip, Viscount Delisle, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. My Lord, if you could not state the oath of office. I, William Philip, Viscount Delisle, do swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, in the office of Governor General and Commander in Chief in and over the Commonwealth of Australia, and that I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of this Commonwealth without fear or favour, affection or ill will. So help me God. Your Excellency kindly sign the oath of allegiance. The oath of allegiance first, and the oath of office. The ceremony took only ten minutes in the chamber, and with the signing completed, the new Governor-General left to greet the crowd, waiting to cheer him. Out from the red-carpeted Senate chamber to the sunshine of this fine winter's day in Canberra. A pause as he descended the steps of Parliament House, and the new Governor-General acknowledged the salute from the military guard on the roadway below. Officer cadets from the Royal Military College at Dumtroon, renowned for their bearing and precision, saluted Viscount Delisle as Her Majesty's representative and as a distinguished soldier. The new Governor-General drives up to his home in Canberra and his office as symbolic head of the Commonwealth of Australia.